Thomas, that was a close one. Lucky that steeple broke our fall. We are back in London, safe and sound. Indeed, Gavin. And now we must clear my name and get back to catching that despicable Jeff. Well, 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 if it isn't Bertram the murderer. Now I'm going to arrest you for crashing an unlicensed fish into a public building, as well as murder. Wait just one minute, Sherlock. Firstly, a dolphin is not a fish. It's a mammal. And secondly, I am not, nor never have been, Jeff the murderer. And I have proof. Proof? What proof? See, Sherlock, I told you it wasn't Bertram. Why do you never listen to me? Oh, I see. Well, this may prove you aren't the murderer, but you are still no closer to finding that fiendish villain. It looks like he's set to go down in history as the greatest criminal mastermind ever, unless I catch him first. Unfortunately for you, Sherlock, it shall be I whom thwarts this dastardly villain. Don't make me laugh, Fiddle. You haven't got a chance. Why, if Jeff the murderer was standing here right now, you wouldn't even notice. I've spent years perfecting the art of sleuthing. I am synonymous with it. They even write stories about how good I am. I'm reasonably confident that one day someone will make up stories about me too. In the future, they are probably going to make some kind of moving picture show about me. <laughs> I bet no one's going to want to pay to see you and your piffling little adventures. I wouldn't be so sure, Sherlock. I wouldn't be so sure. Come on, Watson. I'm bored with these clowns. I want to go look at the freak show. <sighs> yes, Sherlock. Find Sherlock's secret informant. He's a rumor monger named Mr. Snitcher. He might be rather tricky to find. All I know is Sherlock said he's got a face like a bulldog sucking a lemon. Good luck, Bertram. Watson, hurry up! Coming, Sherlock. I should never have run out of magnesium! Dr. Jekyll, are you all right? Please go! I need the anti-potion! Free refreshments for patients. I am feeling slightly under the weather. Ooh, a current bun! A book on hypnoptimization. How to mass mesmerize everyone by Marvo the Hypno Cat. He has a face like a rabid beaver. Ah! Potion. I need the anti potion. <laughs> Snarf, snarf. You seem most discombobulated. Can I help? of magnesium powder.
deliciously blood-encrusted hatchway. Jekyll's surgery. An exotic curiosity shop. Perhaps answers to what we seek lie within. It has been a fruitless search so far. A lemon tree, my dear Gavin, but its fruit is insignificant. We have a saying in Peru, the bigger the lemon, the sharper the juice. A book on learning martial arts immediately. Ah, oh, I know Kung Fu. Oh, what matter of exotic food is this? This is jellied eel. You're not from around here, are you? The bulk wire ain't for sale, not for any price. Oh, good. I never have any money. You do have a lot of interesting artifacts. Are you going to buy or just keep poking everything? Is this real? Everything is real and for sale. A book? Ha! Ah. Oh my! Look at the size of them now! They're massive! Thank you for your lemon aid. Take one, you know you want to.
Want some tea? Good gravy! That's strong stuff! Me mum's special recipe. I can hear the grass grow. Hello, wise sir! I am Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. And I am in pursuit of London's most elusive serial killer, Jeff the Murderer. I'm Bob. Uh, this is my shop. Go ahead, mister. Look around. I'll be with you in a minute. I need to get this box open. Oh, is that an infamous Chinese bamboozle box? Only after years of mindful self-discipline will one reach the levels of concentration needed to open it. Nah, it's my lunchbox. The lid is stuck. A book on learning martial arts. Ha! Huh. A veritable rogue's alley. I have a feeling this is where we will find the mysterious snitcher. Hello, sir. I'm looking for a snitcher. Do you perhaps know of such a fellow? Why, I'm sure I haven't the foggiest idea of what you're talking about. I'm a most highly respected gentleman. A gentleman of my standing does not associate with vagabonds. for squeezing things out. Hello, madam. I'm looking for someone who may know Sherlock Holmes. But I am trying to find the whereabouts of Jeff the Murderer. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Grr, what do you want? Do you perchance know Mr. Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Super Bones? Never heard of him. I'm looking for someone who resembles a bulldog sucking a lemon. I don't know what you're on about. Sherlock Snitcher. Shh, keep it down. I don't want everyone to know. I shan't tell if you provide me with the information I seek. I'm looking for the dastardly villain known as Jeff the Murderer. Do you know of his wherever abouts? I happen to know Jeff spends his evenings playing cards in the victim's end. You won't find a more wretched pub full of villainy and scum. It's through there and under the bridge. But don't mention my name, or I'm done for. Never fear. Your secret is safe with me, Mr. Snitcher. It's you! I'm looking to you. It's true. Never fear. Fishy underpassage. There is something hiding in the murk. Guaranteed to almost never burn the eyes. Hold on there, young'un. You don't just take a fisherman's boat. Rose of the sea. If you want a row, a gift you must bestow. A gift? Like what? I don't know. Something appropriate. Tusk, tusk. You can't just get in a man's boat. He has a face like a furtive cod. Good day, sailor. How goes it? Oh, it's a woeful time for us fishy folk. So I just sit here, whittling away on my whale bone. Ooh, how nice. It was, but I've been and whittled it all. Now I's a fear to go and get any more. A stout fellow like you? Afraid of what? There's something out there, under the water, watching and waiting at me. Really? 
the Thames isn't known for its river monsters. I've seen it with my own two eyes. There's no way I'm getting back in me boat. No matter how badly I want to do Miss Scrimshaw, and I'm just gonna sit here and not wetland till it's safe again. Gravification device. Fancy that! A message in a bottle! Oh, it's too far to reach. Chin. I'm on the hunt for trinkets, mister. You can find all manner of useful things in the mud. Anything that glitters is mine, mister. Ha! The victim's end. I feel a culmination approaching. Look, sir, the soap factory. Oh, yes. Soap it is. I can spy Mr. Dalsworth's secret entrance from here. Hmm, this must be where he disappears to. This pub is for villains only. You can't come in unless you is a scoundrel. You cannot come in. I don't think we will ever get in this way, Gavin. Villains only. We should find a more sneaky way to get in. Hold on. You brought... A tusk. quiet. The world's hairiest egg. Don't touch my camera. I mustn't spill any of this powder or the flash won't work. Pure magnesium is the finest you can get. Careful, this magnesium's very hard to find. Goodness, look at the size of that ape. A most majestic creature. Majestic? Miserable, more like. I'm trying to take a photomograph for the evening bubble, but no matter what I do, he won't smile. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he is in pain, sir. That is not a happy monkey. I'd better not. No, thank you. I'd rather not. I don't do hugs. Marvo's incredibly manipulative mesmerism tent, where he performs all of his hypnotisms. He's not in. Oh, hoopla! Did I ever mention I was a hoop-throwing champion, Gavin? A shame it's closed. I really am rather good. I excelled at hoopla when I was younger. They said I was an incomparable tosser. Joanna von Grimm! 
Grimm, the Nightingale of Dreary Lane. Oh, I'm a very big fan. Bertram Fiddle, at your service. Bertram Fiddle. That name sounds familiar. I think Algernon may have mentioned you. Do you? Perchance work at the soap factory? I do, uh, but it is merely a temporary position. I am more of a classically trained adventurer. Ah, oh, yes, I recall now. He told me how awful you were at your job, and he was only keeping you in employment because he knew you needed the money. He is a very sweet and kind man. Perhaps too kind. Do you know Mr. Dalsworth well, then? We were going to run away and be together forever. But Marvo found out and locked me up because he wants to get his tiny, filthy paws on the deeds to the soap factory. I am little more than a singing canary to him. Take this locket. Maybe it will help somehow. Don't touch my juggling thing. Marvo says if I plug this, I could be famous. He's going to give me the freak show once his evil plan has worked. I shan't let you touch my juggling ring. Sorry. An accumulation of hypnoscent. Don't touch those. Marvo needs those for his evil plan. Here you go, sir. A lovely currency bun. Oh, my favorite. How did you know? I'm sure he won't miss this now. Excellent. This will no doubt make wonderful news. Giant monkey, very happy to be ridiculed by strangers, etc. Well, back to the news quarters for me. In his hurry to scurry back to the evening burble, he has left some powder. This may prove particularly useful. I'll pick it up, just in case. And now to catch a mudlark. I saw it first! Find his keepers, mister! Right then, Gavin. How does this thing work? Just tweet the knobs. Until you grab something, sir. Oh, blimey! Whoa! Watch what you're grabbing! find this letter. Help! Discovered a lost world in the middle of the Earth, being held captive by a race of telepathic flying reptiles. 
McClunk has gone mad. If you read this, send assistance. Yours extremely anxiously, Dr. Paneva Fretling. Oh my goodness! What an exquisite bottle! trade you a go in me boat for that. But I'm warning ye, it's not safe to go out there. Never fear, Gavin and I paddled the Amazon in a scooped out giant condor egg. I think we can manage a row in your little boat. I can see the soap making machines. It's bolted tight. Someone has ransacked Mr. Dullsworth's office. Oh, wait, that was me. There is nothing of use in here. Adequate soap. It smells perfectly acceptable. Won't mix. Surely there's a better way to use this. No, that won't mix. Changing. 
was quite the transformatization. Yes, yes, I, uh, thank you for your help. I don't know what came over me. Dr. Jekyll, at your service, I am deeply indebted to you. Dr. Jekyll, at your service, I am deeply indebted to you. Recently, the side effects to my little, uh, experiments have been getting worse. Sometimes I can barely control myself, and I have such important work to do. I am on the verge of a medical breakthrough. Oh, that's nice. Nice? I'll say. Soon, I will be able to bring the dead back to life. Imagine that. Corpses living and walking amongst us. Um, are you sure that's a wise idea? Of course, I will be proclaimed a genius. No one will dare say I am mad then. <laughs> Poor fellow, or fellows, or bits of fellows. One of my little experimentifications. Uh, I am yet to find a suitable brain, though. I'm confident a superior specimen will be sent to me soon. What's this? Oh, that. Uh, that's where I get my medical specimens from. It leads to the victim's end, a jolly little drinking establishment. It's where I get all my subjects from. The victim's end, you say? May I? Of course. Climb up my chute if you like, but you are going to get covered in all sorts of blood and ghastly things. Follow me, Gavin. I have a feeling we are at last closing in on Jeff. Oh, mind where you put your hands, Gavin. There's all sorts in here. Good day, sir. I ain't seen you around here before. Are you sure you was the wrong one? Oh, yes. They call me, um, uh, Bertram Gristle. I'm as mean as a word. Ah, then welcome to the victim's end. What'll it be? I'll have a cup of tea. No milk. We've got beer or gin or get out of my pub. I'm looking for a rather shadowy figure known only as Jeff the Murderer. By a careful process of highly intelligent investigative deduction, I have tracked him across Victorian London and now have reason to believe he may be hiding out somewhere in this very pub. Jeff the Murderer, you say? Yeah, everybody knows Jeff. There he is. Playing cards with Marvo and old soapy nuts. Mr. Charlesworth, in here? I don't understand how you've won again. Another game, Mr. Dullsworth? But Marvo, all I've left are the deeds to the soap factory. You don't want to see your little singing canary again, don't you? Just let Joanna go, Marvo. We are in love. Then let's play again. Winner takes all. Yes, Marvo. Whatever you say, Marvo. Perfect. Don't interrupt my nefarious schemations. You cannot stop me. I can control your feeble mind at whim. What? Aha! Extravagant champagne, my favorite. Let's celebrate my impending victory. Come closer and pour me a glass. You go, Marvo. Time for some champagne. Aha! Your power's a weak old cat. Meow! My eyes! I cannot see. It burns! It burns! Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? What happened? Well, I effortlessly defeated Marvo and foiled his evil plot, freeing you, Joanna, and the rest of Victorian London from his pernicious mind grasp. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fiddle. They were right. You are a fine adventurer. Now Joanna and I can be together forever. We have you caught.
corner, Jeff. You have nowhere to run. This is surely the end of this whole dreadly business. You've done a good job to get this far, but you'll never catch me. <laughs> I'm slipperier than a greasy eel. And now it's time to make like a duck and dive. ta -ta. Oh, Gavin, is this the end of Jeff the Murderer? Is our adventure over? I guess we will never truly know. Wait, sir, what is that coming out of the water? My goodness, will this nightmare never end? Oh, oh, a giant crab! Oh, blow me! No! My spleen! Oh! Oh, no! He's got me cleaning off! Oh! Oh! Hey, my! What a crabby way to go! Got eaten by a giant crab! <laughs> you must be like the third or fourth best adventurer in here now. What are you gonna do now you're back in the club? I hadn't really thought of it. I bet you're feeling pretty pleased with yourself, Fiddle, aren't you? Well, I did hunt down London's most elusive serial killer and thwart the sinister plot of a hypno-cat. I'd say that was a pretty good adventure. But that still doesn't make you as distinguished as me. I'm always going to be the most respected detective in Victorian London. What about the wager, Sherlock? What are you talking about, Watson? You said you'd wear a lady's dress and dance the trifling gallop around Lambeth if Bertram could catch Jeff before you. I hardly think being caught by a giant crab counts. That wager is non-binding. Now, now, Holmesy. A wager is a wager. Bertram thwarted Jeff the murderer. Admit it, Holmes. Ah, there you are, Bertram. Congratulations on putting an end to Jeff. Is that a woman? But Bertram, I have some terrible news. Something peculiar has started happening by the turnip factory. I have a feeling another adventure is about to begin. Blimey. Thank you. 